You are the spirit which completes God, which completes himself and shares his function as creator. He is with you always as you are with him. And just this idea apply to any situation you may think you're in today that is you know bringing you less than joy or peace or any belief you have in, in hidden interpretation of yourself or another that might be causing you any form of pain or suffering or guilt or shame or fear if you just remember this it wipes that clean you are god's love you are the spirit lovingly endowed with all your father's love and peace and joy you are the spirit which completes God and shares his function as creator. He is with you always as you are with him. Today, we try to bring reality still closer to your mind. Each time you practice, awareness is brought a little nearer at least. Each time you practice, what I'm saying you practice, you practice the idea of reminding yourself, I am spirit. I am not a body. Another way to say that, another one of the lessons is, I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. Or, I am spirit. Today, we try to bring reality still closer to your mind. Each time you practice, Awareness is brought a little nearer at least. Sometimes a thousand years or more are saved. The minutes which you give are multiplied over and over. For the miracle makes use of time, but it is not ruled by it. So every time you remind yourself, I am spirit, you potentially save yourself thousands of years of pain and suffering. Many lifetimes. Remember, miracles are outside time. They enter the realm of time, but they themselves come from a place outside of time. So they are not limited to any of the rules of time or space. You are the spirit in whose mind, in your mind as the spirit of God, abides the miracle in which all time stands still. The miracle in which a minute spent in using these ideas like I am spirit becomes a time that has no limit and that has no end. Give then these minutes willingly give then these minutes willingly and count on him who promised to lay timelessness beside them we give these minutes and acknowledge such truths like i am spirit it's saying you gain timelessness it's no waste of time at all in fact the time you spent comes back to you multifold so you don't actually lose time you gain time he will offer all his strength to every little effort that you make doesn't take much effort, just takes a willingness on our part. It's the Holy Spirit's strength that does the rest, right? Give him the minutes which he needs today to help you understand with him, you are the spirit that abides in him and that calls through his voice to every living thing, offers his sight to everyone who asks, replaces error with the simple truth. And that is our function is to do that, is offer ourselves in those moments, the Holy Spirit to God, to the voice for God, that it might speak or communicate through us. The Holy Spirit will be glad to take five minutes of each hour from your hands and carry them around this aching world where pain and misery appear to rule. He will not overlook one open mind that will accept the healing gifts they bring. And he will lay them everywhere he knows they will be welcome. And they will increase in healing power each time someone accepts them as his thoughts and uses them to heal. So the Holy Spirit offers the truth, the ideas of God or the Holy Spirit to your mind. If you allow a few moments to receive them, they multiply in power. And you become not just the receiver of them, but the giver of them in the process. And they will increase in healing power each time someone accepts them as his thoughts. Every time you accept the Holy Spirit's thoughts or ideas or truth as yours, they increase in power and then use them to heal. So thus will each gift to him be multiplied a thousandfold. The gift to him is the few moments you give to receive or accept this idea like I am spirit. And then they are multiplied a thousandfold. 
and tens of thousands more. And when it is returned to you, it will surpass in might the little gift you gave as much as does the radiance of the sun outshine the tiny gleam of a firefly makes an uncertain moment and goes out. So in a small amount of time, you devote to what the Course of Miracles is asking us to do in these workbook lessons it is multiplied and then brought back to us. And like the time you spend is the size, is the amount of time it takes for a firefly to glow once, you know, to pulse. And what you get in return is the size of the sun, it's saying. 